Recently, my good friend Andy Kirby did a test of some radios I've covered a few times on the channel but never actually used myself, the Motorola DTR2450. These are 2.4GHz two-way radios that use a digital standard and frequency hop. This means they transmit on multiple different frequencies across one transmission and the matching radio follows that pattern of the frequencies to be able to receive what you're saying. Now that's the very simple explanation so I'll link the two videos I did on these radios at the end of this one and also in the description so be sure to check them out. So back to Andy's video, he pushed these to the limits within his environment and managed just over one mile of range from radio to radio using panel antennas to make the contact. This was a really good test but it just made me want to beat his range so we've decided to do a bit of a competition and see just how far we can push these radios. They're really low powered with just 100 milliwatts of output power and they are by the nature of the frequency hopping and channel availability extremely secure. They couldn't be monitored by any conventional receiver, only someone else nearby with the same radio on the same channel and talk group could hear these transmissions, and well, what are the chances of that happening? Even an SDR on the relevant codex couldn't decode these transmissions, because it would still need the matching hop set, and again I explain this in much more detail in the other two videos. So today I'm up near Burnley in Lancashire, at a landmark called the Singing Ringing Tree. This is a lovely spot of high ground to perform this test, and today I'm with Royden, M0LEX, who you'll know from other videos, and he's up at Thievely Pike Trig Point. The distance between us is 1.7 miles, or 2.7 kilometres, so a little bit further than Andy's range test, but we're just using the stock antenna as opposed to panel antennas. Now, this is a really testing the water, proof of concept type video today, but rest assured, I'm going to blow any test Andy does with these radios out of the water completely, so look out on his channel for his response video. Okay, Royden, are you receiving on 2.4 gigahertz ISM? Hello, oh, how are you doing, Lewis? Yeah, receiving, very clear, and a very beautiful day as well, and uh, what a great distance, just looking out towards uh, where you are now, Lewis. Yeah, well, I, uh, what, what people watching this don't know is that I've just took a, uh, a shot of where you are. See, we're a good couple of miles away. Um, uh, you know, a, a really good couple of miles away. We, well, I'm going to put the distance in the video. Um, and yeah, I've got the Nikon P1000 with a 3000mm lens and we can see you in the distance, so... That, that, that picture will be going into the video, so... Yeah, it's sounding, it's sounding good, Royden. Um, it's the first time I've actually used these radios with, with, with somebody else. Um, so uh, yeah, it, it, it's sounding good. The audio's audio's decent on them, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm quite impressed at the range really for, for this frequency. And even though we've got, we, I mean, we've got visual line of sight as, as well as radio line of sight. I'm I'm, I'm still impressed. I didn't think for the ISM band that they would do this well. Back to you, and you don't have to give call signs. Yeah, well, what the the uh, watchers won't know is the boa fangs failed us then <laughs> we could we thought well, if boa fangs work these have got to work the boa fangs weren't working so we thought well we may as well not try these but uh these are absolutely so today the audio is superb uh absolutely cracking radios loving it it's nothing but the smaller wi-fi over this uh, distance absolutely brilliant back to you yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, we we tried on the both things, and, and there's a receive issue on one of them. Um, so yeah, we we didn't quite make. We nearly abandoned the whole the whole thing, didn't we? So I've come to this location twice, and uh, yeah, second time lucky. So um, yeah, there's no packet loss whatsoever. It sounds very similar to Iden. Uh, I don't know if you if you have you well, you probably won't have done because they're not they're not legal over here. But they sound very similar to Iden. Um little bit similar to DMR, slightly slightly different sound to DMR, but um, the, 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 they are working really well. Uh, Royden, back to you. Yeah, it's just all sounds digital to me, to be honest with you. Uh... It's fully audible, so absolutely brilliant. I'm just looking around now. Got uh, Pendle Hill and the Lake District. Over there you can see the three peaks, well, two of the three peaks at least, and uh, all sorts of stuff can spin round. We've got Todmorden, North Yorkshire. Looking out towards Emily Moor, back over Oldham, Greater Manchester, God's Own Village of Weir down there, over towards Ramsbottom, uh, Burnley, uh, Blackpool, Lackington in the distance. 
Yeah, absolutely great. We'll have to uh, we'll have to stretch these uh, radios to the full capacity, mate. Let's see if we get the, the full ten kilometres. This is absolutely fantastic, over. Yeah, um, nearly nearly gave me a call sign then. Um, yeah, no, it's it's working working really well. Um, like I say, signal and audio's audio's great. I'm not sure on where I'm looking at here. Uh, I've got the radar station off off at my three o'clock, so that's uh, I'll put some pictures and clips and stuff of that in there. But um, yeah, absolutely uh, working working brilliantly, Royden. And um, yeah, we definitely need to get get our together on thinking of the next step. Um, long range distance, perhaps maybe in a more urban environment with some height across the city of Manchester or something like that. Uh, who knows? But yeah, we'll definitely get that in the pipeline. Right, Royden, I'll clear. Um, with this, I know you've got quite a long a long uh, trip back. And uh, yeah, cheers to the test. We'll say 7.3. Seven, seven, well, it's been an absolute pleasure as usual, uh, Lewis. Cheers for that. And I'll, uh, well, I won't say from Excellent to say 7.3. Take care, mate. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah, 7.3, mate. Catch you soon. So as you can see some good ranges there and it's still impressive considering we're using frequencies up in the 2.4 gigahertz range as well as stock antennas and an output power of just 100 milliwatts. As I said I'm going to increase the ranges of these considerably and I've already ordered some bits of hardware to carry out some serious testing in the future. And finally, make sure you check out Andy's video which I'll link below and follow our adventures as we push these radios to their limits.